Welcome to another edition of Damn TV with Damn Sam. Morning everybody, I'm Sam here from uh, nice uh, sunny home Firth. It is a bit fresh though, so that's why we've got hat on. Um, yesterday's job, I don't know if you can see up there, that, that, that hole up there. We're co-drilling out for, uh, for some ventilation on this annex. So this is a annex building, I can come round here actually. Um, it's around about two years old and it's built into this uh, into this hill. So house is around about six years old. I think annex were built around about two years old. Built into this hill off a, a concrete raft a, and this is a retaining wall that goes all the way around and then there's a block and beam ceiling. Uh, I came to do a damp and uh, timber report on annex after structural uh, uh, evaluation and structural survey found that there are some issues with timbers inside. Um, when we came and had a look at it, um, we got plans sent through as well. And from plans, we could see that all they'd got on outside is a um, a bitumen, bitumen uh, waterproof system. And what's happened? What what were happening is um, water were coming in at wall floor junction. You can see down here. So what's coming in at wall floor junction? Um, also coming in through services. So the way services go out. So that's the. Uh, uh, we've just we've just drilled that one, and we're in process of drilling another because there were a lack of adequate ventilation inside as well. Um, and they were going to leave ceiling up, but they've took it down. You can see block and beam floor. Now. Again, you see where it's coming in. Up bottom there, and up bottom there. So, system that that we're going to put in place is, if I come this way, we've just put that down to uh, to see if we've got enough stuff. But basically, there's going to be a, a drainage system goes all the way around outside, and then it exits here, and then there'll be a a stop end with a pipe on it and then that'll go outside and, and, and run off down hill. Um, we're going to put a, a waterproof system on walls which is going to be Nats and Tank so that's going to drop down into um, into bottom there and then on top of that there's going to be uh, your, your membrane systems so there'll be 8 mil um, delta membrane on walls which should be sealed with beauty in tape and then 20 mil on floor and then a bit in, in in most basic terms if any what any water comes through wall floor junction or any ingress through walls it'll go into this channel it'll run round and then it'll go out of there um, and everything behind will be dry. Uh, everything behind could be wet, but everything inside will be dry, and ventilation will be right. So, part of the report we, we mentioned on top, which has got flags on. Now they didn't want that out sorting out with that, so we've, we've warned them about it because um, that's got a bitumen system according to plans all the way across. Uh, it don't look as if it's been leaking, so it's that's at their risk. Whether that was going to happen, I don't know. But um, but when it, when it's reinstated by it builder, we're only doing waterproofing, so it'll get reinstated by it builder, and hopefully it'll be all right. So these these service uh, these service areas. This is what we put on here. So we'll cut. We're going to cut that back, and then we're going to put. Uh, just can't see it. <laughs> um, 
cost uh, I can't understand why I can't see it now. Oh, it's here because it's on the top. KB Flex 200. And that'll stop any water coming through service ducts. So we'll cut that back slightly, stick it in there, and then it'll let waterproof system over the top of it. Same with these little holes here. Um, and, and, and them ones there. And when we've done it, it'll be dry. Um, they still need to take that that timber down because the builder was supposed to have ripped everything out so he needs to take that timber down I didn't want to out touching um, touching these concrete beams because if you look here he's touching it in places and in that top corner it's starting to decay because it's it, it's either been touching or leaking I don't know but that needs to be further down so that there's a gap so when it's when it's insulated, there'll be a bit of a gap to the ceiling. You don't want to out touching no where moisture can can drip down. Um, so so this is today's job. We've been on with it a bit. They were late in uh, in getting it ready for us. We had three days delay. So we came yesterday to drill holes, and then uh, they finished build the finished digging ch channel art, which. Um, they didn't think it was going to be as tough as what it was, and he left his labourer here. He cut some, he cut some lines with steel saw, and then he got his labourer with hammer and nicker, so, <laughs> trying to cut concrete with hammer and nicker. And we were just shaking his ears. There's just there's no chance with that, mate. So they end up going and having to hire, um, hire all breakers and everything. I mean, we've we've cut channels like this, and it's took us days. It's, uh, it's not a quick job when concrete's uh, when concrete's rock solid like this. But, um, but yeah, so th this is today's job. And I just thought it'd be interesting for you to see um, waterproofing, a, a failed waterproofing system and how it's rectified. So um, again, I'll just talk you through it. So any water that comes through that retaining wall, that retaining wall, and this retaining wall will be slowed down by Naxxon tank so if any ingress still comes through it'll run down into the channel um, and then into the channel as it fills up it'll run round and then it'll run out at um, weakest point which is down there and all that is kept behind a membrane um, and then a, an insulated system which would be plasterboard there'll be an independent stud metal framing system goes round and then that'll be plasterboard and insulated and skimmed uh, same with with ceiling it'll be in it'll be independent from uh, block and beams and uh, and fingers crossed it don't leak at top or still I'll be having to take all flags off and, and get it sorted from above which which were recommended uh, before so I'll see you at next video hopefully we'll have got Nax and tank on See you in a bit. Damp Sam here, end of the day. You'll see video from earlier on when I was just explaining everything. Um, it's got to four o'clock and we've put out Natsem on. So, uh, this is all, I think there are about 18 bags. So while I was doing this, James was finally getting core, core drilled through. And uh, he's, been drilling, he's been drilling for half an hour on we, we core drill right up to Right up to ill to thing, and it's a long core drill. Uh, Schoolboy error on our part. We didn't realise that it only went up. To <laughs> I'm thinking it was going to go through, and uh, we've got it out to you. Look, and this wall here is uh, it's thicker than than that that wall there. So for half an hour he's been drilling away, and then I just had a 
moment I thought I'm going to have to chop it out here so I ended up chopping the last bit out about an inch um, <laughs> it's one of them things isn't it so Nat Simmons on following it line at um, banking same as here follow its line at steps um, and tomorrow we'll come and put channel in I'm going to put this channel in we're going to drill a hole through there out at slab um, out there um, and then that's about it so and then it's going to be membrane tomorrow stick it membrane on so I'll see you on next bid or next part see you later How's it going? Damp Sam here, is that better? Um, you can see me now. Um, it's a bit bright, but uh, last day job. We stopped late Friday to get it finished. Was proofing. Um, so I'll show you it from here. I don't know if you can see. All the uh, Nat Sims on on that wall that you saw yesterday. Um, and today we've, we've put all um, put all membrane on. 20 on floor, 8 on walls. Uh, we even got his, his uh, warning stickers on. All services are sealed up. Um, there's just fan there. So I'm just letting you have a look. This is last bit. Two fans there for him. Left him some stuff, some plugs. Um, there's 100 plugs there to to drill into the back so this is it all sorted for, for him to, for him to start setting fixing now so um, hope you've uh, had some value out of this video and uh, I'm, <laughs> it's blinding me to sleep but um, I'll see you on the next one something different waterproofing Damp Sam signing off please subscribe if you want to see some more uh, some more informative videos. See you later, have a good weekend.